Well, this is certainly news I was not expecting to talk about anytime soon. And rest assured, this is not an accidental April Fool's video that I left over. But you read the headline, so let's just get into it. I'll break it all down as simply and as quickly as I can. Sony enters talks to buy Paramount. So in the battle for survival, obviously we are seeing the industry consolidate under many roofs that are all becoming giant corporate conglomerates. You got Disney over here who acquired Fox. You, of course, had MGM and other partners joining Amazon. WB, WB is just WB and being tossed around. So naturally, Sony and Paramount seem to be the last ones standing. There was rumors that this could go back and forth, but now Sony has seen what they need to do to secure themselves from going under one of the other conglomerates. And well, with a looming Disney and Apple partnership that seems to rear its head around every six months in investors' calls, we are now hearing that the Apollo Group management is teaming up with Sony Pictures Entertainment and the two are going to put together what is essentially the best offer that both can put together that would be an all-cash option. Now, this is important because this exponentially speeds up the process, and it's a lot easier. They still have to go through all the legal approvals and all that, but just based on this rumor, Paramount stock jumped 12%. Now, this is huge. On top of this, if Sony can secure this, we are talking about another seismic shift to media and the media landscape as it stands today. So what you're looking at here is Paramount, who of course has a large history and catalog of characters, films, and properties. Suddenly, Sony gets Scream, Paw Patrol, Sonic the Hedgehog, Ninja Turtles, G.I. Joe, Kung Fu Panda, Madagascar, Paranormal Activity, Transformers, Shrek. I mean, it's a huge list of properties. And um, if Sony can pull this off, and they are partnering with a partner to be able to try to pull this off, we're also talking Star Trek. Now, I'm not sure I am ready for a spinoff based on Spock where he's nothing like Spock, but I can see what everybody's trying to do here. And um, the big thing that's going to happen here is pretty soon. I promise you by this time tomorrow, I'm going to be ranting about insiders and scoopers selling you lies on their Patreons or whatever. Whatever they say, it's wrong. If it pertains to Spider-Man, it is 100% wrong because they've never seen the contracts or know people that are actually talking with these things. Again... I'm going to quickly reach out to my sources, the same ones that told me about the Spider-Man fallout that was going to happen and nobody believed me and then a year to the date it happened. I'm going to reach out. They'll tell me quickly and then I'll see what I can provide for you guys. But this is going to be huge. And we're talking about distribution deals, contracts, and things in motion for well over 100 years. Like, it's going to be huge. So... We'll get back to this, but Sony's looking like they're fighting for survival, and um, there's going to be a lot that comes of this really soon.